sometimes when it's really late at night and there's nobody around and I'm all alone. I play video games. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, how's the Warfighters doing today? It is Pwn, and I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about my 1337th video. A lot of you guys may be like, Pwn, why is that significant? It's because it's leads, guys. Do you guys not know what the one tray tray seven means? It means I'm a badass, and that's a lot of videos I put down, and you guys were asking for a 1337 video, so I decided to go ahead and do so, and with that, um, enjoy the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta footage, uh, enjoy, uh, I think we got, I go flawless on these kids, we push these guys harder than hell, man, I'm talking S&M type stuff, so, basically, <laughs> we, we, uh, we get, we get a little kinky with these guys, uh, I think I go 11-0 flawless, and it was actually a pretty fun game, uh, maybe not a super high score, but... We get aggressive. We just steamroll, take objective after objective. I'm using MK16. But anyways, I'm here to talk to you guys about something. And I decided, you know, for the event, something fun, uh, that I wanted to start doing video logs soon with question and answers for you guys. So if you guys can, you want to be a part of uh, asking me questions, leave some questions down in the comments below. Questions you want to ask me. They could be random, goofy, what-if situations, anything like that. I think I'm going to start doing a weekly question and answer video um, video log even or something like that to get more involved with you guys because I had to stop the About Me series and I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a couple minutes. But for now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the journey I had through YouTube. Uh, not like how I got started and all that stuff. I've talked about that before, but rather how I've changed. Um, when I started YouTube, I was gullible. I was easily impactable. Um, that sounded dirty. <laughs> um, but I... I listened to all the bullshit these other guys did. I did their I did their bidding. Uh, I was so blind. I followed some of the shittiest commentators around. I started drama with people. I was the worst kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that when I started YouTube that I'd look down on now, and I was completely disappointed in myself. I started I started a lot of drama. I whined a lot. <sighs> Sixteen year old female right here, guys. That's how I was. Um, I was still relatively young. I was what nineteen at the time, something like that, twenty. And uh, actually, no, it's not an excuse. It's old enough to have a kid, but I was far, far more immature back then. Um, not saying that I don't talk about dicks now, but there's a difference between maturity and irresponsibility. And I was definitely an irresponsible person back then. Uh, but in all honesty, I have shaped up a little bit, a little bit, and I found that I was better off alone. I'm very selective with the people I hang around with or do videos with now. Um, back then, it was all about growth. It was all about proving myself. It was all about getting that machi a machinima partnership and directorship. And that's all I talked about in every video. My videos back then, my commentary absolutely fucking sucked. If it wasn't for my great Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, I wouldn't have been able to do a damn thing. And that's one of the best ways that you could start up on YouTube is by having exceptional gameplay. I was the guy back then. I was basically the Jane Nasty of Modern Warfare 2. The guy that had the first triple nuke. The guy that had the second quad. The guy that had five triple nukes. The guy that had the largest collection of kill streak lists. The fastest kill streak lists, man. I built my channel around being the best I could be back then. And I had no sense or care for my commentary. And then when the new games came out, I realized that I didn't want to be known. I didn't want those standards. I didn't want to just be a gameplay guy. And I wanted to work on my commentary a little bit. So I matured up a little. I got a little bit better. I cut out the, the fat of the people that you know just brought me down. And I tried to become a better person. And YouTube actually helped me that. I started getting uh, more involved, mingling with other people. And I stopped being this little annoying asshole that I used to be that always wanted everything to happen for me but wasn't willing to work for it, which is the biggest thing. you know. As, as much as I look down and I tell people to not do that on YouTube, I did it too. So you know, everybody wants the best for themselves. They all feel like they need to have those million subs. And you know, nobody understands why people that cheated have their subs. And they always feel like they earn more. And everybody has that sense about them. But you know, the journey on YouTube was crazy where I went from gameplay you know, extraordinaire to a commentary guy that people come to to just listen to to you know lay a load off or get a load off whatever you want to do um and it turned out to you know benefit me a little bit i mean i can't i can't do too much with it but i enjoy it i have a lot of fun it's been a great journey and i want to thank you guys for all the support i mean through this i've matured i met my wife uh you know i was on a bad track there for the longest time you know i got my first kid on the way and everything's been so great and um I just want to thank you guys for, you know, just everything you've done. I mean, almost 1,500 videos that I've cranked out for you guys and, you know, for me and, you know, everything with this being my job. It's a great, great thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little commentary. As for the about me on the same topic, 
You guys have been wanting to see more of those. That's why I'm going to try to fill in the question and answers to fill it up a little bit. My wife was actually uncomfortable with me doing that because I told you so much about me. I enjoyed it, but I didn't think about her in this fashion that she didn't like the fact that you guys were finding out so much about me. And it, it, it to her, it made it feel like that what we had and, and her being the only person in the world that knew me to the extent that, you know, of everything that I was telling you guys didn't mean as much because, you know, 20,000 other people around the world all of a sudden knew me as well as she did and it wasn't as special so the reason I had to stop that is because it hurt her feelings and I hope you guys understand that so it wasn't like I needed to stop it or I like to stop it I still have like four 30 minute gameplay saved up but I stopped it because it was hurting her feelings and I had to do what I needed to do so I want to thank you guys for everything hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and you guys are going to be here for another 1337th video and I just Thanks for everything, guys. Remember to leave a rating if you enjoyed. Leave some comments down below for some future question and answer videos. And uh, peace out, guys. Get it.